it kind of, it looks fun. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I didn't get, I didn't add water. Hey, Inga. What's up? You ready to do another kid science experiment? I am ready. Have you heard of elephant toothpaste? I have only heard of it because I saw this like viral video where this mm -hmm. guy made like one that was huge and then just like yes. went up into the sky. Yes, it looks cool, it's very fun. The only problem is we don't have instructions on how to make it. We just have the ingredients. So Inga and I are gonna see who can make elephant toothpaste. Divide us! Do you know why it's called elephant toothpaste? It's just such a large amount of toothpaste. It must be for an elephant. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure there's no more logic to it than that. Okay. We're gonna have about 10 minutes to put this together. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna put these on. Because we're dealing with chemicals here. So we have some old friends here, like this little guy and this. As Inga and I try to complete this fifth grade science experiment. Oh wait, I don't I don't want to do that yet. Actual kid experts inside are going to tell you how you actually make elephant toothpaste. This is what you need. Hydrogen peroxide, yeast, dish soap, food coloring, a little hot water, and then a flask. First, you need 240 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so next we're gonna need 60 milliliters of dish soap. Oh, I didn't measure that. Pour the hydrogen peroxide dish soap and food coloring into the bottle. One, two, three, four, five. I think the yeast is the rising agent. I don't cook really, so I think yeast, I think yeast infection. Next, in the separate container, now we're going to mix 7.5 milliliters of active yeast with a little hot water. And then give it a little time, at least five minutes. You know what? It smells like a beer. I feel like it's not activating the right way. They probably don't tell you that when you're a kid because they don't want you thinking about beer as a fifth grader. Okay, I'm just gonna test this out. I don't know if this is gonna give me anything. You're doing a mini test right now? Okay, I'm yeah. gonna do a mini test too. Do I just need more quantities of stuff? Wait. Wait, it's going up. Wait, it's going up. It's slowly. I think that's a really good sign, so. Are you about ready to do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do the actual thing now. Finally, pour the yeast mixture into the bottle, and then you got elephant toothpaste. Ready? And go. Go. <laughs> that was a that was like a toothpaste. That was like a toothpaste, right? You can keep adding color to it, I think, too. Oh wait, really? Yeah. Wait, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that, you guys! Bye. Oh man, honestly, Inga, I feel like this is the closest to correct I've gotten, and it was mostly because you said the thing about yeast at the oh, beginning. Activating. <laughs> so, how does the chemical reaction behind elephant's toothpaste work? Well, the hydrogen peroxide, it slowly breaks down into oxygen and water. Okay. And, to make the reaction happen faster, we add a catalyst, yeast. The oxygen gas turns into bubbles. And bubbles plus dish soap will make it foamy. And that's how you make elephant, elephant toothpaste. toothpaste. All right, well, I think Inga and I learned a lot. So hopefully now you guys can make elephant toothpaste at home, even if you're a dumb, dumb adult like us. All right, bye. Bye.